So we've got Obamacare, and you've heard a few people have been canceled. I'm still, Nancy Pelosi said we could learn about this bill when we got it, we could read it. I'm still learning about it. It's 20,000 pages of regulations. The bill was 2,000 pages, and I didn't realize this until this week. The whole idea of you losing or getting your insurance canceled wasn't in the original Obamacare. It was a regulation written by President Obama three months later. So we had a vote. This was before I got up there. The Republicans had a vote to try to cancel that regulation so you couldn't be canceled. To grandfather everybody in. You know what the vote was? Straight party line. Every Democrat voted to keep the rule that cancels your insurance. So this week, have you noticed, Democrats are like going to the White House and saying, Mr. President, what did you do? We're not responsible for this. The President canceled your insurance, but not us, because we're running in the South now, and we got a, a, a Republican running against us. So Mary Landro, she didn't have anything to do with it. Neither did Mark Pryor. Well, guess what they did? They voted specifically, not just for Obamacare, they voted for the rule that says if your insurance ever changes, you'll be canceled. So think about this. If it ever changes, this isn't a question of some people being canceled. Everyone will eventually be canceled because insurance companies, the, the policies become more expensive over time. That change causes it to be ineligible for the grandfather rule, and you will be canceled. This is going to happen to the employer policies also. Why? Because you're too stupid to take care of yourselves. The president thinks that you're not smart enough to make any decisions. And really, this is not about health care. It's about freedom of choice. It's about freedom. It's about whether you should have the liberty to buy something. What comes after health care? Somebody might someday say, we're going to ban the big gulp. How would that be?